at this stage, I think it's uh, still a complete toss up between getting a deal and not getting a deal. As you say, time is incredibly short. Uh, if we haven't got a, a deal by the end of this week, the EU is going to really struggle to do the, the things it needs to do to, to ratify and approve the deal. But the, the issues are the ones that we've had since the very beginning. Questions about uh, governance, so resolving disputes, uh, questions about the level playing field, so standards uh, for the environment and for workers, and of course, uh, the question of fisheries, which has been so important far beyond its economic weight. So uh, whilst we have seen some real progress in these talks that have been going on in recent weeks, uh, that has to be balanced against the non-progress on the, on the key sticking points. It's hard to see how that changes. I know some people have said that perhaps Dominic Cummings leaving number 10 uh, might produce a shift or be related to that, but we, we see no sign of that. And uh, at a purely prosaic level, uh, Boris Johnson now having to self-isolate because he's been in contact with uh, one of his MPs who had coronavirus, uh, means that he's not able to go and uh, meet and greet and uh, chat with uh, European leaders, which might be the, the catalyst for, for a movement. So I think at this stage, we don't see the fundamental situation changing. And it, it really comes down to whether Boris Johnson wants to have uh, a deal, which will still come with disruption and uh, challenges and having to work with Parliament to get it approved, or not having a deal, in which case uh, the new year is going to be even more disruptive than it already is. Well, if we take uh, formal deadlines, uh, probably we're looking at, uh, at the end of this week because the European Parliament needs to look at it in its committees and then in a plenary session, which is at the, end, uh, the middle of uh, December. Having said that, uh, you do hear mutterings that it might be possible to arrange special sittings, uh, maybe between Christmas and New Year. Uh, so if you really want this to, to work, you can uh, push the deadline back. But even in the best case, let's say this morning uh, everyone turns around and says we've got a deal and a text. That's very little time for parliamentarians on either side of the channel to scrutinise this text, to make sure that they're happy with it. And I think that's going to be the longer term issue that uh, even with a deal now, uh, we may well find that there's a degree of buyer's remorse as everyone discovers what it is that they've signed up to, uh, not really having had enough time to, to scrutinise it at this stage.